Earlier this week, we reported that Vanderpump Rules star Stassi Schroeder was dumped by boyfriend Patrick Meager, seemingly out of the blue. That's bad enough on its own, but Stassi's situation gets so much worse from there. Not only did Patrick kick her to the curb on what would have been their fourth anniversary, he did so after Stassi had already booked a celebratory trip to Mexico. Yesterday, Stassi detailed the breakup and the aftermath in admirably candid detail on her podcast, revealing that she's currently getting by with a little help from her friends, and a lot of help from booze and pills. Stassi says it all started when with a classic couple argument straight out of a corny sitcom. Mika forgot their anniversary, and she lost it. We get into an argument on our anniversary that he did not remember. Our four-year anniversary. Granted, okay, we broke up for a really long time, but we met four years ago on the day, Stassi began her tale of woe. I didn't even get a daisy. Not even a weed. What did I get? I got told I was broken up with a day before our Mexican vacation that I already paid for. She says that even after Patrick announced he wanted to call things off, she gave him a period of several days in which to change his mind and join her in Mexico. When Patrick didn't take her up on her offer, Stassi began to panic. I start going crazy, like mindlessly sobbing, taking Madame Ants of Xanax to calm down, she said on the podcast. She recruited friend Rachel O'Brien to join her on the trip, but her troubles were far from over. First, Stassi and Rachel were escorted from the airport after using the wrong checkout line, then a flight attendant broached the topic of Stassi's breakup, saying she'd heard about it from a friend. This should be my romantic flight with Patrick. We should be cuddling and making out, Stassi said. I was like, where can I get a toothpick so I can gauge my eyes out? I was like, oh my god. I'm just going to be constantly reminded that I'm heartbroken over and over and over again. Stassi says that she suffered another emotional gut punch when she and Rachel arrived at their resort, realized the pool was for couples only and there were no single people there whatsoever. I'm still on a lot of Xanax. It's the only way I can, get through, she said. My breakfast consists of milk and red wine and two eggs that I didn't eat and bacon and Xanax. And that's pretty much how I feel. She went on to say that instead of enjoying a vacation in Mexico with her best friend, she's been battling her way out of a deep depression. I miss him every minute. I'm going to cry, she said, audibly tearing up. I don't know how to bounce back from this. It's the biggest deal. He couldn't get on the plane. I made the effort. She went on to reveal her plan for coping in the weeks to come. Drinking a lot, not eating a lot, taking a lot of Xanax and laying in the sun and the water and just doing my best, Stassi said of her future plans. Hopefully, she won't be sticking with that strategy for too long. And hey, at least she won't be alone at the singles table. This off-season has been rife with Vanderpump breakup news. First we learned that Tom Schwartz and Katie Maloney are headed for divorce. Shortly thereafter, insiders reported that Jax Taylor and Brittany Cartwright had broken up. Neither couple has confirmed the news, but it's customary for reality stars to keep that sort of drama under wraps as a means of boosting ratings. Watch Vanderpump Rules online to get caught up in time for what's sure to be a drama-packed season.